Hey kiddos! Today I thought since it has been a while I would do another story time video for you and I am going to read you one of my personal favorites, the Ghostbusters Little Golden Book. When there's something strange haunting you, like ghosts and spooks and specters, and things go bump in the night, who are you gonna call? The Ghostbusters. It all began when three scientists named Peter Venkman, Ray Stans, and Eon Spengler discovered that ghosts were real, and a real problem for New York City. They started a ghost catching business called Ghostbusters. When the alarm rings, they grab their proton packs and ghost traps, and they race to the scene of the disturbance, all in their souped up ghost busting mobile, the Ecto-1. The Ghostbusters realized that things were getting a little weird when they answered a call at a fancy uptown hotel. Ray spotted something he'd never seen before a hungry green ghost named Slimer. He's an ugly little spud. Ray chased Slimer right into Peter. Splat! He slimed me! Using his PKE, his psychokinetic energy meter, Egon tracked Slimer to the hotel's ballroom. Egon warned the Ghostbusters not to cross their proton pack streams. It would be bad, he explained. This ghost is toast! The Ghostbusters quickly snared Slimer in a tangle of proton beams and sucked him into one of their traps. Soon, more ghosts appeared, scaring up trouble all over town. Peter, Ray, and Egon needed help, so they hired a man named Winston Zedmore. Winston chased ghosts across the city as a Ghostbuster. But where were all of the ghosts coming from? The answer to their question could be found uptown. A supernatural cloud above a high-rise apartment building was drawing in ghosts from another dimension. One day, a young musician named Dana Barrett was resting in her apartment. Suddenly, her favorite chair came to life and tried to grab her. And Dana's neighbor, a and Louis Tully almost became the chew toy of a snarling terror dog. Something very strange was happening. The Ghostbusters rushed to the rescue. Of the building, they found Dana and Louis, and a powerful being named Gozer. Whatever it is, it will have to get past us, Peter declared. Suddenly, Gozer transformed Dama and Lewis into two growling terror dogs with glowing red eyes. Then the villain exclaimed, Choose the form of the Destructor! The Ghostbusters fired proton beams at Gozer, but it vanished into thin air. Suddenly, a spooky voice boomed, The choice is made! Whoa! Peter shouted, looking at his teammates. Did you choose anything? I just couldn't help it, Ray stammered. Look! It's the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man! Ray hadn't meant to, but he had thought of it. Now the Destructor had taken the form of a marshmallow man hundreds of feet tall. That's something you don't see every day, Peter joked as the giant marched towards them. The Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man climbed the building, reaching out with his delicious puffy hand to grab the Ghostbusters. Egon came up with a radical idea, we'll cross the streams! Then the Ghostbusters combined the streams from their proton packs into one massive blast and aimed it right into the portal Gozer had opened. Heat from the explosion roasted the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Everything was covered in fluffy white goo, but it had worked. The portal was closed. Dana and Lewis returned to normal, and the city was saved. The heroes were greeted by thousands of cheering fans. I love this town, Winston said. Now the city knew exactly who to call the Ghostbusters. All right, kiddos, I really hope you enjoyed this little story video. I plan to do lots more of these in the future for you. If you like this video and want to see more content on and about age regression from me, you can be sure to subscribe to this channel because I post over here a couple of times a week. I also have a main channel and a vlog channel for other content that are linked down in the description if you wish to subscribe to those as well. To keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayonkiddo. I love you guys a whole heckin' lot, and I will see you soon. Goodbye!